Hey everybody, Captain B, day five of the Key Largo adventure. Enjoying my Tim Hortons. Yes, this is the boat cup. Uh, actually pretty cool that we have stuff in the boat and, and obviously here in the room. So if we need something, we have everything we need in the boat anyways. So um, day five is gonna be a little bit of some cleaning up and whatnot, but I figured I'd show you our uh, domicile for the next week or so. Um, MJ's set up on the sofa with the dog and we've got the laptop set up with our paperwork and I closed the shutters, I'll show you that. That's the view of our balcony. just down onto the canal and the boat is to the left you can't see it in this view but it's just tucked away from the left once I'm outside you can actually see it uh, the dive boats have headed out for the day we have a TV we really could use some sort of table below it but anyway so right now we've thrown all our gear in a pile over here uh, full-size fridge showed you that yesterday coffee maker microwave sink and then we've got a little bit of a kitchen table four chairs and that's the door to the outside there's uh, two rooms one's the bathroom so that's the shower which is fine and then double sink with the mirror and then on the other side is the bedroom so bedroom has a fan good size TV and then a walk-in closet over here where we put our bags for the time being and our coats but plenty of room for us in this place it is dated but there's still plenty of room so it'll do just fine so I guess the plan now is is boat set up day and boat tidying up so we're gonna head downstairs and get that done so this is the view from just outside our door and if you look between the trees over there you can see the blue tortuga in between the trees so we can keep an eye on the boat just right from here downstairs is the pet area and the barbecue area and a couple of tiki huts and we've got a couple of flights of stairs And there's the truck so the truck is actually pretty close to the stairs we're pretty good there's an elevator as well we've been using the elevator for the dog and this pet area is all artificial glass which is quite unique and there's some games here for the kids a couple of hammocks over there nice setup So we are at the marina down at the boat. The, as you can see, the boat's between the pilings and we're going to be doing some cleaning. We got to clean the cockpit. As you can see, the floor is a mess from the travel before we put the carpeting down. 
the dog is taking a break but we've got to keep going so the cockpit's been washed I've got the canvas out I went to fetch the cooler we have the carpeting down so that's progress we've sort of done a wipe down on the outside of the boat and MJ's out there cleaning the windows right now so still lots to do the cockpit's now finished the um, side bumper rails pads are on the carpet's in the cooler the cushion for it and a, the top canvas is on so we have the roof over the cockpit and now we're attacking the inside of the boat well we're basically done um, Santa's sitting in the windshield which is nice and clean helm stations been cleaned bathrooms cleaned the interior of the boat all the windows vacuum you can see the cockpits all done I just need to put the canvas up dog is of no help taking a nap and I've got stuff organized for the bait table I'm going to bring the two short rods small rods in to the hotel room to rig them up I just need to do the canvas and we're going to take a break yep there it is we even got Christmas decorations the boat is all closed up cleaned up filled with water we're still missing gas we'll deal with that when we head out but we are done for today the boat is ready for the rest of the holiday we're back in the hotel room and we are done setting up the boat we're 100 percent ready for the boat put in the water filled it up everything's cleaned up uh had to adjust the lines a little bit um this morning i had to loosen things up because we were at low tide and by the end of the day we we're approaching high tide and it wasn't quite where i wanted so i had to shorten things up on two lines but i think the boat's settling in quite nicely and getting the hang of the tides here they're not that big but nonetheless we have to adjust for that mj worked really hard today uh, a lot of scrubbing a lot of detailing but we got everything cleaned up got a lot of the road grime off of the boat and we're ready to cruise if the weather cooperates tomorrow eh, we're supposed to be getting some rain right now they're saying about 50 percent rain so i don't know if we'll head out or not we'll have to play that by ear mj has to do a little bit of work as well so we're going to see how that goes uh need to maybe uh finish setting up some of my <clears throat> rods and tackles so that when we do head out we'll be ready to fish so tonight um we didn't make it to any shopping so i think we'll just go back and, and order from the same restaurant from last night food was good um and then last night we had the fish and chips and mj had something else and and, and the dog sort of ate part of that so that worked out um so we'll see what tomorrow brings day five is done so until tomorrow this is captain b saying keep the bottom side wet and the top side dry